Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect remotely to your Raspberry Pi. So the idea here is that you want, maybe you want to have your Pi and it's not connected up to a monitor or you don't have a monitor you can connect it up to uh, and you just want to be able to connect to it from your laptop or your desktop. So you can use a thing called VNC to do this. It's very, very easy to set up, but you do need to uh, make a few things available on the Pi itself. The first thing you need to do is have your Pi uh, it has to be like plugged in somewhere. It has to be uh, on your local network. Um, in my case, I have it wired into my network. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, but look, it's all right. It does the job. You will also need to know what the IP address of the Pi is. This one here that you can see, it's actually a fresh install. So it, I, I've just flashed the card. So it's a brand new install. And as you can see, the IP address actually came up instantly. So we can see what it is there. Uh, another way you can see the IP address of the Pi is to hover the mouse over the little network icon uh, in the top right hand corner or, or wherever you have your menu set on your Pi. After that, then the thing that you need to set is very, very simple. So you go into the menu, you go down to preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration. Just give that a second to load. And then you go to interfaces and what you want to do is you want to enable VNC, this one here. So make that enabled. It's probably going to be disabled on yours. It's also probably worth your while enabling SSH. That allows you to log in with a terminal. Um, probably just as handy to set that up as well at the same time. When you're logging in, you will need to know the username and password. Um, this one is, I haven't set anything to this, so it's just Pi and Raspberry. And you'll also need to know the IP address as well. So the next thing we need to do then is go back to the laptop that we want to connect from. So once you have that done, then you want to come back over to the computer you want to connect to the Raspberry Pi from. So in this case, I'm on my MacBook. And what you want to do is you want to load up a VNC viewer. There's tons of these applications. Most of them are free. Uh, I said I'm on a Mac, so I'm using one called um, VNC Viewer by Real VNC, but there's loads of them. Uh, there's one called Type VNC that's uh, cross-platform, that's free. So you can get that for a whole variety of uh, different platforms, Windows, you know, whatever you want. Uh, anyway, I said I'm on this one here, VNC Viewer. Close that. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to get that IP address that you knew from previously. Okay, so error one of uh, my device. I just have to get it up again because I forgot I didn't write it down, which I should have done. Okay, so it's a 192.168.3.206. As I said, this will be different for you. This is just the local address on my network. Okay, and it's going to ask me to connect and this is a brand new install, so the uh, password and username and password are exactly the same, which is Pi and Raspberry. Uh, okay, so if I do that, let me just give it a moment to catch up. Okay, there's more email coming through, I should cut that out. Okay, <clears throat> and now you can see I'm logged into the Pi here from my MacBook. Okay, and then I can come in here and I can open up terminal I can you know browse the menus or just operate as if I'm in front of my Pi uh, if you want to do this consistently you might want to set a static IP address on your router for your Pi that's a, a, an IP address that won't change uh, that's easy enough to do but it totally depends on the router that you have um, but uh, yeah that's how you do it and then you can log into the Pi remotely you don't need to connect it up to a monitor uh, or keyboard or anything like that. You can just have it plugged in once it's on your network. You should be able to get to it. Hope that's of use.